Good morning, subscribers. So, my house is asleep, and I am the only one awake because it's the holiday. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and they don't have school. My mom's home from work, but I have double classes. So, while the house, ooh, see that? Dark and sleeping. You hear the dog, she wants to go outside. Sounds like my son fell asleep in the living room. I went to bed before the kids did last night even. But, um, <laughs> just eats all the time. She's always excited to go out. So, kids are asleep. David gets to go grocery shopping. Check out his list. See this? Bananas, cheese, milk, green bean casserole stuff. Don't waste the money on crap. Love mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I got an exam and two classes today. Thanks. Okay. Well, I'll let you know how the day progresses. Happy day before Thanksgiving, everyone. So, I got a lot going on. Here's an update. One, I don't have class again until Monday. Of course, I do have homework or studying to do. But, and I have an exam next Wednesday. I have an exam in a week. I took an exam today for contracts and I felt like I did really well. I'll know for sure when I get it back, but I felt really um, confident in um, having the law memorized. And my contracts teacher, although he is a strict grader of essays, he does not demand specific language. So my contracts professor likes us to know specific language that he uses and sometimes I like my words better. Like, what was the word I learned today? Centuri? That's not it. It's some word that means to... to so, um, there's different levels of duty that landowners have towards people getting harmed on their property, premises liability, and so if you are visiting a business, there's the landowner has um, a, a duty uh, to show like reasonable care in preventing harm to you as a business customer. So instead of um, seeing business customer, he's got like cent if you're at the premises for Centuri or Centuria or something. I don't know. Just say you're there for business. Okay, so yay, I'm pretty, I'm a little like, I am like a giddy hyper that like I don't have class for a couple days. So, I feel like I haven't had like a break in a, I know, in a bit of time, so I'm excited. That's one. Two, um, Thanksgiving. So yesterday, uh, I was like, I realized um, a lot of anxiety I have around this holiday this year. And I don't always have this, but this year I do because... Like, my family's been mean, mean to me the last year, or whatever. Like, they've all decided I'm the bad person and they randomly attack me instead of being accountable to their own bullshit. Anger is a secondary emotion, really important. <laughs> but, so, that, and that's manifested in different ways, like, where I'm more sensitive to how my sister's interacting with me. And the fact that, like, because I'm in law school, we're not able to go to my sister and spend Thanksgiving with her, which is what we do every single year. And so, like, that upsets me because, like, it was, it was Easter, I don't even know, six or seven years ago, my dad did some shitty, shitty stuff. Like, like just didn't show up to some things for a holiday for Easter. Like, right after Big David had left, like, when I really wanted and needed him there. I wanted him there and needed him there emotionally didn't come because it's whatever and so my sister and I just decided like we need to create our own holiday rituals and so one of them was that we spend every Thanksgiving together so every Thanksgiving for the last many many years I go to wherever she lives and I spend Thanksgiving with them and then I can't this 
easier because I've got glass all day today, plus two hours of driving. Um, so now I'm at home and I got nowhere to go. And last Thursday, my friend invited me to have the kids and I to go to her house. And I was really, really like excited about it. I think I did it. I feel like I talked about this yesterday. I didn't realize how excited I was about it until um, when I checked in yesterday to be like, hey, just making sure it's all good, which was four days from when we had the original discussion and three days before, two days before the holiday. She said, oh, I hadn't heard from you, so I just assumed you weren't coming. Which, it shouldn't matter either way. Really what she's saying is I don't want you there or you're not invited or whatever. And like, I've been friends with her for eight, nine years. Like, I don't question the friendship and it's okay for her to want to like do her own thing and not have me and the two kids there for the holiday. But holy shit, that hurt my feelings. Like, like the amount of like, I don't know, like I just felt sad and disappointed and cried for like the next, I did the silent cry though because I got the messages while I was in the car with the, Dave and his friend Joseph taking them home from basketball. So, um, on to the neat story because life is what you make it and I like still unconditionally love my friend and trust her as my friend and am okay with her decision even if it hurts my feelings. What the hell is happening here? Some cars are breaking in the fast lane now because someone's getting over. Um, but I gave the kids um, a little bit of money this morning and said, find a ride to the grocery store and buy what you want to cook for tomorrow. So my mom took them to the grocery store today and they bought groceries and we'll have our own little lunch or dinner at our house tomorrow. So that should be nice. Hopefully I'm not depressed because sometimes that happens to me. Like I um, get overwhelmed with sadness that I'm not included by my family or um, like I don't get to be with my sister and she's really like she's doing her own thing with her new dude and so so I'll try Hopefully, like, you just never know the perspective that kind of consumes my thoughts. I'll find out tomorrow. It could easily, it could go either way where I could just feel at peace and completely content to be home with the kids or I might be sad. Either way, we'll grocery shop and do what we do. I mean, they already grocery shop, so that's great. And we'll cook and do whatever we do tomorrow.